Hi guys, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another Q&A Ask Me Anything video. I'm very excited. There are some questions that you guys asked me on Instagram that I'm going to answer in this video and which I'm very excited about. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you guys some very exciting and important news for the future of my YouTube channel. So stay tuned till the end of the video. But before then, we have some questions to answer for the Q&A Ask Me Anything video. As always with the Q&A videos, you have to bring your snacks and I got my Monster Energy drink ready. So yeah, without further ado, let's do this. And now the first question that we have is best ride at Universal Florida. To clarify guys, I haven't been to Universal Studios Orlando in in six years, six years ago was the last time I went there, which was way before I got this YouTube channel. I haven't been there in a really long time and I, I haven't been on the best rides. I still haven't been on the Incredible Hocus too, because the last time I was there, I wasn't tall enough to go on the ride, which I am now. And I haven't been on Velocicoaster or Hagrid. So to, to clarify guys, I haven't been on the best rides, but the rides that I have been on, Revenge of the Mummy is easily the best ride at Universal. It's a masterpiece, one of the best roller coasters I've ever been on. It's that good. I love, love this ride so much. The theming is amazing and the animatronics are amazing. And I love that, that it goes really fast in the dark so you can't see where, where you're going and that makes it even scarier and even more exciting. Everything about this ride just screams perfect. It was perfect. Which weather is the worst, cold snow or warm rain? I think that cold snow is easily the worst because it, it's very cold, it's too cold. And I think that uh, I prefer warm rain because then you can just go outside and get a free shower. Uh, cold snow is too cold, I think. Barbie or Oppenheimer, who do you think won? I think the Oppenheimer easy one. Oppenheimer is far superior. It's way, way better than Barbie. Oppenheimer was easily the best movie of 2023. You may remember in my top five best movies of 2023 video. Spoilers for that video, but Oppenheimer was number one on that list. It's a masterpiece. Barbie made more money at the box office because obviously it's Barbie, Ryan Gosling also, Margot Robbie and stuff like that. And I really liked the Barbie movie. It was, it was really, really funny. But I think as good as it was, it had too, way too much politics and stuff like that. And obviously, Oppenheimer is the first superior movie. So I think Oppenheimer easily won. And I do think that both movies got better upon rewatch, uh, especially Oppenheimer. Hey Oliver, it's Ail here. I'm here at the movie theaters. I'm going to watch Aquaman 2. And I have questions for you. What do you think of Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn? That's all for me. Bye. Thank you so much for that question, Ail. You're the best. I'm kind of mixed on, you know, Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn because Mogrobi is so perfect as Harley Quinn, so I'm not sure about that. I think that Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn is just bad casting in general, in my opinion, because like, of, of all the actors play Harley Quinn, Lady Gaga of all the actors. I think that Samara Weaving should play Harley Quinn instead. Samara Weaving is perfect casting as Harley Quinn. She is such an amazing actress. So I think she should play Harley Quinn instead. Like, why why isn't that happening? And also Lily Reinhardt is also perfect casting to, uh, to play Harley Quinn. Both of those actors should play Harley Quinn instead and are way better castings than Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. I'm very, very excited for Joker 2, but Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn is the thing that I'm the least excited for. But who knows? It could be good. Who knows? It's DC are very, very, very unpredictable. Like, who knows what could happen? It could be good. We'll have to wait and see. Which actor has the greatest filmography of all time? Uh, that's a very good question. Thank you so much for the question, Elliot. There are many actors who have uh, amazing, great filmographies. Like for example, Jerry Leto has an amazing filmography. Amy Adams, Anna de Armas, Morgan Freeman. All those actors have amazing filmographies. But the more I thought about this question, I think that uh, Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill easily have the best filmographies, in my opinion. Well, let's start with Brad Pitt. I think that Brad Pitt has one of the best filmographies because that he has different movies in his filmography for different moviegoers. If you like action movies, then go watch Bullet Train starring Brad Pitt. If you like superhero movies or comedy, then go watch Deadpool 2 also starring Brad Pitt. If you like crime thrillers, then go watch Seven also starring Brad Pitt. If you like zombies, then go watch World War Z. If you like war movies, then you have Fury and Inglourious Bastards. If you like animated movies, then go watch Megamind 
also starring Brad Pitt. And if you like dramas, then you can watch Babylon and Fight Club starring Brad Pitt. So he has like the best movies for each genre and stuff like that. So that's, I think that that's one of the reasons why his filmography is so good. And also because those movies that I mentioned are just amazing, or at least the ones that I've seen. And I also think Jonah Hill has one of the best filmographies because some of his movies are just some of my favorite movies of all time. The Wolf of Wall Street is one of my favorite movies of all time, starring Jonah Hill. War Dogs is also one of my favorite movies of all time, starring Jonah Hill. Superbad is also one of my favorite movies of all time, starring Jonah Hill. Megamind is one of my favorite movies of all time. Hunter Jr. Dragon is one of my favorite movies of all time, also starring Jonah Hill. So Jonah Hill easily has the best filmography, in my opinion. The next question comes from my best friend Oscar and he asked me how does my movies and TV show watch list look like and I've seen many 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 movies in my life but there's still so many movies that I still haven't seen but I really want to watch them so they are on my watch list so I will mention some movies on my watch list it would take way too long if I mentioned all of them and that would take like an hour or something like that but I, I will mention some of them and I will mention the ones that I the most want to watch, the ones I'm most excited to watch on my watch list, my most anticipated movies on my watch list. Babylon, Better Call Saul. I, I love, love Breaking Bad. I even have the Breaking Bad poster here. And I love the Saul Goodman in Breaking Bad. So the fact that they made an entire show about him is very, very exciting. And I haven't seen the show, but I have seen some scenes from the show. And it looks amazing from what I've seen. El Camino, I love Breaking Bad, and I can't wait to watch a Breaking Bad movie. I love whenever TV shows turn into movies. I hope Hollywood continues doing that. Talk to Me, The Black Phone, Pan's Labyrinth, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Barry, Invincible, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Saving Pirate Ryan, and Reservoir Dogs. Two movies on my watch list that I have on DVD. Inglorious Bastards, or The Pianist, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street. I love Jonah Hill, he's one of my favorite actors of all time, so I can't wait to see it. And I also love Shannon Tatum. American Sniper, Catch Me If You Can, Past Lives, and The Iron Claw. So that's some of my movies on my watch list. Thank you for the question, Oscar. All right, guys, we have one more question to answer. What is the production process for a video like Star Universe like? Thank you so much for that question and well, the production process for Scully Universe is way harder and a lot longer than you may think. I first start off with writing the script, planning the season out with some of my producers like my, my best friend Aid, and after that we film one episode. One episode of Scully Universe takes like two months to film and then it takes, after that, editing, editing the video takes five months. So making just one episode takes very very long. And I think season 5 was easily the hardest season to film. We flew way over to Greece to film just one scene. It's probably the biggest season and it's probably the biggest season when it comes to location. We have to we have to do a lot of location planning and so that there are so many locations in season 5. Like for example, the 100 acre woods, Greece, Iceland, Finn, Hamn, and Gamma Stalin, and so much more. And, and then we also have to have to do a scheduling. Uh, there's a lot of scheduling going on with well, whichever days we film and stuff like that. And when our actors can film or, or aren't busy and stuff like that. So that's like an, all, a big process in and in, in of itself. So I think season 5 was easily the hardest season to film and the biggest production process out of any Sky Universe season and I'm very happy with how it turned out and I'm very happy with all five seasons of Sky Universe in general. Uh, we had so much fun filming. There won't be anything else after season five. I'm done with Sky Universe because of how hard season five was to make. It's a very stressful process which is why season five was the last season. We couldn't have ended the show in a better way than we did. I'm very happy and thank you so much for the support on Sky Universe and also thank you for the question. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video and before this video ends, I have some very exciting news to announce to you guys for the future of this YouTube channel. Uh, some people are very upset that in 2023, I barely made any ride videos because I didn't go on that many rides. So that's why there weren't that many ride videos. But in 2024, Theme Park Ride Reviews is coming back. Yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! Yes! 
So stay tuned for all the Ryan reviews I'm going to do at Universe Studios and as well as the Universe Studios vlog and stuff of that. It's very exciting. So stay tuned. F thank you so much for all the questions. I really hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time.